Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. It's Simply Nana with Crafting Cooking Isa Um And today I'm going to be making, I'm gonna say it's delicious because I know when I make it, it is delicious. I love octopus salad. My son, Papi Pablo, PJ, AKA Papi Pablo, that's how it's sent the whole, he's been asking me for octopus salad since Friday. So this morning uh, I'm leaving because I've been on a Walmart shop right just full haul food for the last three days, which I haven't been successful due to the coronavirus. So, but as I was leaving this morning, back on another unsuccessful hunt for food, um, he was saying, "Mom, I want octopus salad." He was actually gonna make octopus salad bellata from the can that I have in there. I was like. I don't know what you're talking about. I've never made octopus salad out of a can. I know it can be done, and I'm pretty sure it tastes good, but I've never made it like that. I've learned to make octopus from my dad, where we get the whole octopus, we clean it, we take the tinta out, the dye, and all of that. That's the only way I know how to make it. I was like, I'll go get an octopus, because I didn't think that anybody be looking to buy octopus while for the coronavirus full haul, their stock, or whatever it is that people are doing with all the food in the supermarket. Obviously, they're stocking it, right? But there was no octopus, <laughs> no fresh octopus, no shrimp, nothing. I go to this new Dominican spot, uh, it's a supermarket, um, a town over from me, which I freaking love. When I tell you this Dominican supermarket, it's not that big. I can't even tell you how big it is, it's not that big. But they have a huge selection of fresh meat and seafood there and everything's so clean and you walk in there and everything smells like Clorox. Like, it's just clean. The floors are immaculate, everything. I have to get the name. I'm gonna put it because I know some of my viewers are from Jersey and I would love for you guys to go over there and check them out. So anyways, they did have a nice um, stock of, of certain meat. So we got like some oxtail, we got goat, um, we got some swordfish, what else? We got some other stuff and I didn't have the octopus either. No, we have fresh octopus. What we did was when we went to that Dominican supermarket and they didn't have any fresh octopus, but he told me he had um, had them frozen in a bag. So this is what we ended up getting, um, which has saved me a little time. So we ended up getting three of these bags and I'm just gonna um, see, it's already cooked. So that's why it's gonna save me time. Um, so it's cooked octopus. This bag here was um, $5.99. So we bought three bags of octopus, right? It's Topo, you know what, since um, I'm not really sure how much it's gonna give, cause I'm usually, I know more or less by buying a whole big octopus. So I said, pa que rinde, so it can, um, you know, be enough, cause there's seven of us. Since there's seven of us here and everybody loves it, I got some peeled and cooked shrimp. Um, which I prefer the fresh shrimp, but I'm telling you, due to coronavirus, I cannot get anything. I placed a $500, actually it was $589 order from ShopRite. Three days ago, I was supposed to get it, um, three days ago, I was supposed to get it yesterday, and I only got a hundred and something worth of, a hundred and something dollars worth of um, items that really I can do without. Everything that I really wanted to get, like powder, milk, and, and some you know candles or whatever um they didn't have so i'm just trying to be prepared because less than like about 30 minutes from me they shut that whole town down so that's why you know i guess everyone's panicking and i'm basically asked the hell out back to the cooking video so we're gonna add these um these are already cooked so and the octopus is cooked so i'm gonna start this video off um, and show you what I'm doing. Right now I have water boiling, so at this point, if you like, you can add your water, have it um, ready boiling. So I wanna, I saved the bag to show you what I used. I like my octopus salad to be um, colorful. So, thanks God, I still had one bag left because I couldn't get any more. And these are from the farmer's market and they're gone too. Um, so I added one whole bag of these, okay? And that's just red, orange, and red, orange, and red, orange, and yellow peppers. They're like this, so I left two just to show you. 
and this is the back hole. I'm gonna chop these up also and put them in there. I might put them in there right now. So I'm gonna use one whole bag of that. So you can say that's like one big red, one big um, yellow, and one big orange. Then I use one medium onion only because I don't want, I didn't want so many onions in it. You can use a lar large onion. This is one medium onion, which I chopped up. I love garlic, you guys know that. So this is one head of garlic, garlic, garlic. One head of garlic that I chopped up. And that's it, so let's start this video. It's gonna be easy. Now I am going to be making this with rice and I'm gonna fry some chicken, some drumsticks. Cause I know, Puti, you gonna eat octopus salad? Oh, no. Yeah, Puti might not eat it. Joey already told me he don't want octopus salad. He wanted some um, drumsticks. So I'm gonna fry him some drumsticks, make some rice, a salad, most likely. And um, and yeah, so let's get started. I went to the liquor store. All right. So I went to the liquor store to get some wine. Although I did get my shipment of my Martha Stewart wine. I'll show you guys the box, which you guys know that I love. Um, but I did stop at the liquor store um, on my way home because I wanted some wine. And I didn't have pink, I wanted pink. But um, I'm gonna show you, I ended up getting the yellow tail, the pink siphon tail. No, this is white sip and tell, but it's pink. But it's really good. So I'm gonna salt my water. I gotta pull up my container. So here's our boiling water. Here's our octopus. Okay. And we're gonna add them all in. I smell my Nico. I smell the seafood, guys. open that one a little better okay. all right guys so we're going to let this cook for maybe about 20 minutes not too long yeah about 20 minutes we're gonna allow it to come to a boil we'll, and we'll take it right out okay all right guys so it's come to a boil I did take a piece out it's tender to um you know when you bite it you don't want your octopus to be um, chewy, like chicle, like gum. I want to make sure it's tender and eatable. So I'm going to put it in this bowl because I'm going to allow it to cool down just a little bit. And then I'm going to just dump my shrimp in here really quick and pull it out as well, okay? I always like to cook like a nice, like, delicious Sunday dinner. It's always something special here. Um, unless I'm food prepping, like prepping for the week, which I'm not gonna do today. <sighs> because I didn't have time for it, guys. I just, you know, mentioned that we've been out trying to get um, food and stuff from the supermarket and other things that we've been unsuccessful to find due to the coronavirus. All right, guys, so this is good. So this is what we got, all right? So let's get it. So like I said, I'm just dumping this in here just to take the chill off, okay? Like so. So we'll get this maybe about 10 minutes, maybe not even. And I'm not gonna dump this water, I'm gonna save it because I'm gonna use it for stock for my rice because I'm gonna make um, a de bacalao. I'll put the link up here somewhere. Um, it's gonna be made a little different than the other video only because I'm gonna utilize this, um, the water that we use to make our shrimp and our octopus in it. So it'll be a little different, but It'll still taste delicious. Big Papa was like in there for the octopus salad, honey. He didn't fight with PJ. All right, the shrimp are good to go. I'm gonna shut that off. I'm gonna take all the shrimps out and I'm gonna put it in with our octopus. Okay, 
So that's it. All right, so this is all the seafood for us. All right, guys, so I want to warm up my octopus and my shrimp. I want to give it some flavor. So I'm going to add a half a cup of good old olive oil. You guys know I always use olive oil. So quickly, you seen that I did not cook my veggies, peppers, um, garlic, and onion because I like a crunch in mine. And besides, when you add everything together, the octopus, the shrimp, and your veggies, and you store in the refrigerator, your veggies, garlic, etc., will welt and still have a nice bite. Everybody's taking out their motorcycles. I don't know if you guys heard that. Paul took out, um, Paul, yeah. I cannot talk today. Paul took out the four wheelers I saw, but I don't think he rode them. I heard him um, turning them on, but he didn't ride them. All right, guys, so we're just adding the octopus in here with the olive oil, and I'm going to season it right here, just like this. Everybody, you know, makes theirs different. If I would have boiled my octopus, Honestly, guys, I would have did it a little different. I wouldn't have did this step. But since it's already frozen, I'm trying to season this bad boy up. So uh, you guys know I really don't measure, so I'm just throwing this in here. And there's some people who add um, oregano to theirs. I'm honestly not a big fan of oregano, so I will not be adding it. Make sure my stuff. I'm going to sprinkle some pepper on it. And I'm going to add two bay leaves to this, okay? One, two. Two should be enough. No, you know what? I'm going to add one more. I'm running low on bay leaves, guys. And I seen this. I did see in the supermarket, but I didn't grab. Should have grabbed some. I have the big bag. All right, I'm turning my stove off. Let's sprinkle some pink salt. And I'm going to add my garlic to this. No, nothing else, just the garlic. And my stove is already off. And I only have olive oil in here, okay? So this part is done here. Now we're going to start adding this to our peppers and our onions as well. All right guys, so this is just peppers that I had chopped up. I'm gonna start adding my shrimp to that and my octopus. And I'm gonna go mixing it. Let me get my, um, my I'm gonna start off, I'm gonna use more, but I'm starting off with one cup of vinegar, okay? Making this reminds me of my dad. And the reason I'm, I'm gonna, I make this before I even start my rice. I'm making rice with this, arroz de bacalao bacalao rice and I start this way before I start my rice because I like to keep this in the refrigerator I mean if you can do this in the morning and keep it in there till dinner time do that because it's gonna taste even better my onion oh my god it smells so good and it's just seafood marisco
I'm gonna add another half a cup of olive oil. And another half a cup of vinegar. So, so far it's been a, um, a cup of olive oil and a cup of vinegar, guys. And this is optional, guys. Season yours with whatever you like to. This is, like I said, this is my version. This everybody I feel that has their own way of cooking, and we should respect that. And we should honestly try each other's cooking. Because I see other people cooking, I'm like, wow, I have to try her cooking. And that was pink salt. And now we're going to sprinkle some more garlic powder. All right, guys, so this should be it. I'm gonna give it a try, even though you're gonna taste the flavors, but you won't really taste the flavors until you refrigerate and try it again later. So we're going to try the octopus. Now I'm gonna try the shrimp first. So I'm gonna try the shrimp first, but I want peppers and I want a piece of garlic because all that is what makes the flavor. Onion. Yum! You guys see? Wait. See that? Te odio, something fell. All right. No, the piece of pepper. Mmm. Mm, 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 mm. I'm gonna get something else. All right, now I'm gonna try the octopus. I wanna try the onion and the pepper and the octopus. Yum. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm 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 -mm. It's delicious. I want to add more. I like a pickle taste of mine. So I'm going to add another half a cup. So, so far it's been a cup and a half of vinegar. Mm. This is so good, guys. You know, this is good if you make totones and make a totone, a plantain. Mine's is starting to turn, but if you take a plantain, right, and then you get a totonera. But if this is the one that has like a cup, so it makes like a plantain cup, and you can fill it with anything. And this is good for entertaining or if you're having people over, this is when I use it. This sotonera will be on my Amazon link down below. I have an Amazon store. So a lot of stuff that I mentioned will be listed there. And I make a small, um, you know, commission off of anything that is purchased. So I want to let you guys know that. Um, but you put the plantain in here, close it, make a cup, and then take some of this and fill it in those cups. This is like an awesome appetizer or just to start. Like, you know, when your company's coming over, sometimes you put stuff out to pick on. This is great, great, great. Or if you're having girls night and you're just having wine, cheese and stuff like this, something like this is good too. So this will be in my Amazon shop and it'll be, it should be in the cooking or kitchen section, something like that. All right, guys, so we're going to actually put this in a glass container. All right, so this is it. I'm going to put this in the nevera and the refrigerator until my rice and the, and the drumsticks are done. I'm going to allow it to get nice and cold, and then we'll serve it. Let me just show you. See this? And I made this whole thing full, guys. So... Um, and thanks again for tuning in and watching this delicious tutorial on how to make octopus and shrimp salad. Mm, 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 mm. 
Um, and make sure if you haven't already subscribed, hit that bell for notification. It's simply Nana with Crafting Cooking. Isa Song. Till the next videos, my love. God bless and stay safe.